you think to put a fire out? Nah. More power that tea. That'll work good. Well. You just overwhelmed by all them tools in that toolbox, bub? Oh yeah, totally. Huh. Okay. Here you go, I got you this. <laughs> Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. Got something a little different today. Yeah. Car Crusher 9000. Yeah. We've got a Caterpillar 815 dirt compactor. You guys have not seen me work on one of these. Something we don't get too often, but uh, not much needs done to it. It's just an old compactor. So we're going to uh, hopefully not get blown away here. We got another tornado coming. Tornado's coming again, bud. <laughs> So we're just gonna walk you guys through servicing this thing. It's probably from the 70s, if I'm guessing. It's you got, keep saying it's a 815, but that says 518. I know. Does this make sense to you guys? It says 518. I think somebody was dyslexic. Says 815 on the front. There is no such a thing as a 518. <laughs> I don't know if they had a dyslexic Tucker person making stickers, but up here it says 815, like it should. So I have no idea what's going on, if that was a joke or maybe somebody in the comments knows more than I do, they can comment on that. So I uh, have no idea. They can verbally scold what us for our lack of knowledge. Oh, those stickers are all, somebody's been playing a joke or they didn't know what's going on. I think Mason said he already did that. Hey, my brand new. It does have brand new filters on it. So uh, two things that I know that's wrong with it. This has a 3306 pre-combustion engine in it, which has glow plugs, and uh, it likes the uh, Cosby sauce, doesn't it? I say that filter smells an awful lot like Cosby. Glow plugs, I tested one of them that was burnt out, so I ordered a set of six glow plugs, so we gotta stick those in, hopefully they show up here today. The other thing, this has a three-speed transmission in it, and uh, for some reason, it's only in second gear. I don't know if they've locked it out, or we've got a linkage up there that's not right, or... Well, this could be an all-day thing. <laughs> We don't know what we're getting into. Uh, the shifter is supposed to twist up there for one, two, three. I'll show you that in a second, but uh, it's not twisting. It moves forward and backwards for uh, reverse, but uh, sometimes people lock these things in a certain gear. I've seen it before just a second, because a lot of times the operator that runs these things is not the most talented person ever, I should say. Was that nice? Yes, it was. Very so we just tried to make everything simple and leave it in second gear and let her eat. So. That way, operator's not sitting there in third gear, heating up the torque converter and going too slow in first. And we're just making it simple. I'm hoping that's what it is. If not, we'll figure it out here. So we've got to check fluids and everything. Got a checklist. We'll have to check uh, differential oil. Um, got a couple. This thing's been sitting there for three or four days. Got a couple drips on the floor. But again, this is an old compactor. It's not something we're really worried about here. So tire pressure. Tire pressure. Go ahead, bud. You remember one of these I had a couple years ago we put all new feet on? Yeah, I do remember that day. That was a good time, wasn't it? Yeah. So these feet are all replaceable. They have two different kinds. This kind is a bolt-on style, which it's all full of dirt. They have a weld-on style. They're usually welded on the ends right here. So you actually have to cut those off and weld them on. But yeah, these are in pretty good shape yet, so. Hey, bub, I done lost the steering wheel up here. You like that? Steering. This is back when we had men. So this is forward and reverse. We're supposed to twist these things. For one, two, three. It even says it there. Watch this. I don't know. It's been a while since I had one of these. What is that? The ones I run, you twisted this. It's not like a lock, is it? This thing here. We got a little mechanism here. Well, that's probably like a. It's not worked for a long time, I can tell you that. You know what it needs? Some power lube. Maybe I'm not doing something right. I should probably... 
I need to lube her up. Alright, we took his top off here, and there appears to be a gear in here with this handle twist. I don't know if it's froze up in here. This handle's moving a little bit back and forth. But Kevin's down there. It's gonna have him unhook the other end of this handle and make sure that it's uh, trying to isolate whether it's here or down there. On your way up in here, he needs some help. All these people are cheering you on. Are they? Yeah. How's those long pliers doing from Harbor Freight? Did we tell anybody about a Harbor Freight giveaway yet? Not on this video. Oh, we will. Guys, don't know we're giving away a super sweet toolbox full of Harbor Freight tools, but we're going to try them out for a year. That's right. How's that going for you? You need some help here. Oh, how can you get your fingers that close? Oh man. I got lines in my way. It's pretty obvious you're Mr. Sausage Fingers. <laughs> I think my hole's small. You just got showed up on national television, bud. That's okay. I always need that. Um that one on the lever. Do what? Oh, I need to run the lever. Yeah, it's up in the handle. Got it. I got it down here. She's froze up, bud. She's froze up. up. Where's it froze up at? I could use some power lube down here. Oh boy. So we were working down under there. That goes down through the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah let me have it. You can't do nothing over there, bud. Did you see how I soaked that for you? I'm up here where the joint is. Did you see how I soaked that for you? Right Not up there. Oh. That's Probably got it all over everybody. I think we ought to take that handle apart up there. All right, we'll go back up here. All right, you guys might be able to see now. Down in there, we got a gear on this shaft here, and then there's teeth, I think, on that shaft. Hey, that's the wrong size, bud. We're gonna pull this plug out and see what's behind door number one. That's right. So yeah, there's our super sweet toolbox we're giving away. It's loaded full of Icon tools from Harbor Freight and the Hercules um, power tools. So super cool things like these lights and stuff. We're gonna test them out, see how they hold up in a shop environment for a year, and then we're gonna give them away to you. The description, uh, in the description below will be a link to the video how you can enter that so how you fighting those new tools there that's it ain't it yeah. if it don't move we'll put the heat to it you got it everything moves when you got hercules involved Here's my little gears. So it's a shaft that's going down through there that. You know what it needs. What's that, bub? Old power loop. And Should a good we... scolding. Try to... I get scolding. Yeah, but... I can loop that up some more, maybe tap on that. And... She'll come loose. What you doing there, Bubby? Oh, nothing to see here, folks. A little bit of heat. We've been beating and tweaking, and I think this shaft that goes down is froze in this here doohickey housing. So since I got it full of flammable power loop, Kevin wants me to light on fire. Ha! Revenge! <laughs> I can't wait. Light you on fire. You're on the wrong side, bud. I can't wait. You got heat over here. Let's get on fire. I can't wait. Let's get on fire. I can't wait. Let's get on fire. Do we have anything to put a fire out? Nah. 
more power. That loop. That'll work good. Well. Must be some plastic in there. Where's that power loop at? Put her down in the hole. Okay, bud. Did she feel like first or third? <laughs> Maybe we need to make a room shifter. Oh, that'd be sweet. It would. Are you getting all those gas print foot pedals down here too? Dang straight, bub. I mean, look at the steering wheel. Surely we can come Dial up with up a shifter. Dial up some racing. I like this one handle right here. That yeah. makes it. I was forgetting it. Hey. Well, turn. I got her. Oh, because it's hooked to the back, too. She's a poly track. Sorry, Mason. You either have to jack up. You're either going to have to jack one up there in the back or. Look at this. She is shifting machine now. Amazing what a little heat and stuff does. Now, do we have one, two, three gears? Hey, bud, I got it so loose now that it just falls back on its own. Look at that. Hey, Mason, I'll take some grease. I'm going to put some grease down in this. Maybe keep the water and stuff out of there. Yeah, you want me to keep doing that for you? Yeah. Yeah, Where do you want her at? Right there. You got the pin in? I want to make sure it works. Okay, that's one, two, three. Oh, we got four gears? That's one, two, three, four. Oh, bud. I forgot we do have four gears. I know, we're going to hit the highway here in a second. Look how far this thing comes up here. She's a 21 speed now. I like it. I like it. Did you get your end hooked back up down there? Okay. Look at this. It's like mine. I got some grease under there. That's probably why it didn't bring as much to the auction and I own it. As long as all the gears work, we'll be good. <laughs> Gotta be careful with the hurt please, there, bud. I hammered that in there for you too. <laughs> Alright, so that's forward, that's reverse, and we got one, two, three, four. You know, I had people asking how to run this stuff. They want to see, like, um, so this is not a steering wheel, what you call this. You know the thing about these old caterpillars? So that's your throttle there, you shut them off, you push that back the other way. That confuses a lot of people. They'll shut them off, and they won't start because they won't get the fuel, or they don't know how to shut them off. In your old cat stuff, like in the 80s on back, that's how it was at a gas pedal. What that can of power loop ever do to you? Can I smash it? Do you just kick it out of your way? This here is for all the dirt pushing you need. That's pretty much it on a compact. So we got two brake pedals. I don't know if these are set up like the wheel loaders. So normally with forklifts and wheel loaders, the brake pedal on the right just um, does brakes only. The one on the left normally does brakes and kicks your transmission in neutral. I'm pretty sure we probably don't have brakes, but what's that? It's a safety lock, so you don't start it in gear. You want to get it working too? You got a hammer here. 
fixed it. I don't think we need to break that today. <laughs> All right, gonna try to fire this thing up. We got the uh, that battery disconnect on. Uh, like I did, I say earlier that the glow plugs are out of this one. I did, didn't uh, I? Yeah. So we're waiting on glow plugs. They should be here before too long. I'm gonna fire this well, thing up. Then. We're gonna make clouds with Cosby sauce. That's right. And then uh, Kevin's got one wheel over here that Mason's working on. We got to get it rolled up uh, to check the oil level on that. He'll show you how that works. And I'm gonna see if the gears are in this thing. Just make sure it moves in the shop. Where you wanna grab that, bud? Just gonna make sure that all four gears are. We'll get outside later. We'll test it out. Let's do it! You gotta hit your foot on that thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Don't worry, I operate cats all the time. That's right. Four out sixty. All right, was in four. So all, all four gears seem to be working. So Mason's already checked the uh, final drive or the axles in the center there. We're checking the outer planetaries. He's already got that loose for you, bud. That's how nice he is. Probably because he saw the earthquake coming. Oh. Got so you gotta get these halfway up. That one's good. Got good clean oil on it. Put that back in there. Not the only thing we got left is to change those glow plugs out. They're uh, right in there. Sometimes those can be a pain too, so we'll see what uh, what we got going on there. Did you get all of them? Oh, bud, that's a lot of head in this little space. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna test these here little glow pluggies with continuity. So I think I tested this one the other day. Mm, that one's good. Okay. So what we're looking for is a complete circuit. That one's good. It could have been the wire that was unhooked up there. How about that one? I think it's good, yep. Oh, somebody sent it. There's that one. Are you grounded? Mm-hmm. Just hold her there and I'll go down on the... That one's bad. Of course it is. Number three, the hardest one to get to. Right behind the turbo. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get my arms over here. That one's good. And this one's good. So Kevin, this wire right here out of the end of the rail is unhooked. Mm. So I think, hey Mason, yeah. you wanna hop up there? Let's turn that on voltage, or I got this other one here. Kevin, up there in the seat, I'm going to have you turn the disconnect switch on. You got that one 7 volts, or use this one? Is the disconnect on? To the right of the seat. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna turn that switch to the left up here, which should give me power in this wire. You got I'm thick ground. Here you go. Hang on a second. This is real fun to work on here. You grounded, Kevin? Yep. Okay, go ahead and try it. You got anything here, Kevin? Nope. 
push it down and turn it to the left. There you go. It had 14 and a half, so. How much you got? 25 and a half volts. Okay. That's good. So, we just need to fix. I'm going to plug this back in here and we'll see if we got power. Hang on, Mason, turn it off. Plug it back in there. Now, let's see if we got power coming out this little spider harness. You like that? Spider harness. Spider harness. Turn that over here so people can see. It's in our keys. Okay, Mason, try it again. Got it on? There we go, 22 and a half volts. All right, we're good. So we just had that one bad? Yep. The hardest one to get to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was the third one back up there, right? Mm -hmm. Right behind the exhaust uh, turbo. You know why it's bad, right? I don't know. Hot stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't want to replace it, so I'm going to put all these back on there other than that one, or do we need to... That harness ain't our way. Yeah, I'll put these on there. We'll blow it out, and I think those are 3 8 so we'll see if we can get that one weaseled out. Are you just overwhelmed by all them tools in that toolbox, bub? Oh, yeah, totally. Huh. Okay. Here you go. I got you this. Is this going to fit? Yeah. Are these really 3 8 Did I lie to myself? I like just, how from the camera angle it looks like you got a ton of room. <laughs> but really when you pan back out you can see that he's fully just hugging the whole thing. Mason? Yeah, and I just started it five minutes ago and it's still warm. Mason, how about a smaller socket? Hmm. Can that be five sixteenths? We'll be back. Longer extension, Mr. Mason. Like a six. A big old fat Icon Harbor 8 freight ratchets in the way. Boy, look at all them extensions. There you go. Thank you, sir. Oh, now we're going to have to drill a hole through the hood. Mm hmm. Hey, the last time I grabbed one, you said six inches is too small. Huh. Bud, did we just find an epic fail on TV right here? Did we? That's new. It won't go in the hole. Oh, boy. Junk Harbor Freight. What's going on here? Yeah. Let's go out here and take a look at this. Oh, boy. There we go, folks. Here we go. The abuse. <laughs> there it comes. They don't fit. How about you get those my, or dog calipers out there? We'll do some measuring. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to write this down in a notepad. That's not impressive, bud. How about this socket? Let's make sure it's not the socket. Oh, good. It's extension. It's because too many people put them on half inch impacts and give them ugga duggas, so they made it I mean, extra it big. It shouldn't be like that. Well, when you got your old. Sloppy socket on there, it's gonna fit tighter. Not That's what it is. Oh boy. Don't listen to him. He loves them. I promise. So these are made for Harbor Freight too, so you think these are wrong? <laughs> so this is a quarter inch drive. It's two thousandths over a quarter inch. Exactly. Do you what? Exactly. Show the folks. They're the same size. Maybe it's operator error. They just need more. Where's their other quarters? <clears throat> What's this one from? See, that one fits. This is what happens when you... Yep, that's the one we need. <laughs> Take that back to Harbor Freight. That sucks. See, that one fits. Hmm. How's and the quality now on your tools, bud? Don't listen to him. All right, let's go he's back just, to work now. He's just a little bit angry. He'll get over Mason, it. Mason, you need to find a new notepad so we can start writing down Harbor Freight Flaws. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. Now we're back. Take 22. Oh, she's turning. That's just the inside of it. So what do you got to say about your Harbor Freight quality? I think it's a great deal. We'll have all the tools tested and fixed before you guys get them. 
extension. We can't let one quarter inch drive extension what get about the, the best gun? of us today. That was a returned item. I Are can... you going to start going to Harbor Freight for me every night? <laughs> Not every night. But I've been known to visit Harbor Freight from time to time. I'm on a first name basis. Like I said, platinum member. Now, if she'll just come out of its home. Those need those pliers go to. Ouch. Not my head. Mason over filing on Harbor Freight Tools. No. No? Go. Bring us out here and test it and show our people what's up. Okay. Where's your tester at, bud? It's up high. I can't reach it. High. See? Does it fit? Quality control. Got her filed down? Just the one that had a lip on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's their quality? What's their slogan? Good job, Mason. A plus for you okay. today. We still need to write that down. <clears throat> okay. So, apply power into the tip here, right? It just goes there and makes it dead short. So if this short breaks, we won't have continuity through there, right? Mm hmm So we should be able to touch there. We have nothing. That means that it's broken through there. When you take a peek at the end of that tip, it doesn't look the best either, does it? Mm -hmm. Like she's burnt out, so. Mm. Hopefully the FedEx man brings us one of these. Mm hmm At lunchtime. Mm -hmm. so I ordered six of them. Now we got five extras. Oh, good. What are you doing, bub? Harbor freight. What are we gonna call this? Problem list. What you gonna call it? Um, revisions. I'll put issues. Okay, there you go. So when would we have the grease gun issue? That was that was opening we'll put, day. We'll put April Fools on there. It was opening day. We're not sure about that yet. There was already grease in it, though. So. Four dash. Do we have any other issues? That eight inch, quarter inch drive extension needed filed by Mason. Okay, how many? Tight. How many file strokes did you do, Mason? About five. How many five. times in your life have you filed extensions? I've never had to do that. Twice. At the price, I mean, I, I could probably I go up to ten. I know. Okay. That's minor, but we're just writing it down to keep our people. Okay. Where are we going to put this at? Put it right here. There you go. Any you other issues? When Kevin's using these and I'm not here, he won't write this stuff down. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you broke a hammer, almost. Oh, yeah, that hammer's coming apart, too. Yeah. Right, now, there is something quite comical about these hammers. It's a lifetime warranty. Which hammer is that? Now. That one. This one here's coming apart. Hey. So. You guys do get sticky stuff all over it? Now, instead of just being called like a sledgehammer, check this one out. The biggest one they got, an engineer's hammer. <laughs> Can I show them this one? I beat the top of it. Oh, hey, hey, you did not. That's probably, was it originally floppy? Yeah. Yeah. If We're not. Stays, we'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we need to put it in a bucket of water like that. Let it swell, swell up. Her up, bud. Dip her in some oil. Again, we shouldn't have to do that. That's just very true. We knew well, ahead of time. Warranty. We knew ahead of time the hammers looked a little scary. They were cheap, so I'm not gonna. They looked a little scary. Explain, but you get what you pay for. Yep. Okay. We're waiting on a glow plug. Hey, we might have something to um, test this compactor out on later. Really? Mm hmm. Mm. We'll see. We must stay tuned. We must. Okay. Hey, look, there's friend. Oh, Hi, friend. Be, oh, I should have gotten down. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, top secret mission, getting ready to take place. And Can I get a 10, action. A 10 in quarter inch drive, Mr. Harbor Freight? Oh, huh. I'll be dipped. Glow plug Cut. inside. And action. Oh, a blue one. I got me some anti-seize on it. It says too. it right on the side of it. Does it? It for says people, glow plug socket. For people like you. <laughs> for people like me special, that's hurtful special people that's hurtful hurtful that see look extra, he's not an extra 299 for that <laughs> that's right bub got my name on the side of it
What are you doing here, bub? I'm threatening UPS to must have came. Uh, FedEx. Fed. Oh, sorry, UPS. You should go in there and start filming Bridget right now. Oh, tell her, You yeah. should tell everybody about the lightning storm that hit her crane. And so, building. yeah. We learned that in thunderstorms, you don't want to park your crane in this position next to your all-metal building because... Scott has nothing to do now. Why, Scott? My computer got fried. And everybody else's? I think they're all good, so I'm going to let oh. them do all the work. And I'm That's gonna right. Home. That's right, bub. Okay. I got my Harbor Freight tool stuck here. Huh. Did you uh, put out any effort? or? Well, it's that tight fitting on that extension, oh. you see. <laughs> wow. Did you even try? Did you tell Uncle Scott about that? No, I haven't told Uncle Scott about nothing You're, you yet. You don't want to tell anybody that stuff, do you? <laughs> Wait till the camera's off. You can let me Uncle know Scott. It. Here. Yeah. We need something to run over. Yeah. Oh, and it also took out a refrigerator oh, that yeah. was already petering out. That's but, right. Um, huh. We might have a tool to get rid of the refrigerator we got with. We got to We got to save the right? earth and compact our trash. That's, ex <laughs> that's exactly right, Bob. Let's go get. <laughs> Are we ready to try it? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm trying to stand up after that. After what? I'm trying to get that refrigerator. We awoke a dragon. What's that black That's thing out there? The department oh, back here. It's there goes Uncle Scott. I think he got yelled at. Shipping and returns. The office manager is not happy right now. No. Uh -uh. Not at all. Not nearly as happy as we are. Right oh, now. so I guess I gotta go get a new refrigerator tonight. Are we yeah. gonna tell him why we're blowing that one up? It no work works. It don't keep anything cold, and it's getting ready to turn summertime. So that's right. We're over. The only way we can get new stuff is so we crush it. We did that with our microwave a couple years ago, didn't we? <laughs> I had a microwave that the door wouldn't shut on. Like you'd have to slam it to get it to work. And I finally just hauled it out here and went over to 850 one day. We got I've a new one after that, didn't we? Yeah, I bet this this is. They use these in landfills too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see if it starts up without the Cosby sauce on it. Okay. Let's see. Is it gonna be cloudy today or partly sunny? We're gonna freeze it so we don't make more clouds. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Yep, hit it. That's heavy. Do what? Right there? Ha. Ha.
Yeah, I heard. Smashed it perfect. Good job. So what did uh? Yeah, don't spray anymore. What did Mama say? She, she still doesn't says, seem too happy. No. Do we get in trouble? <laughs> well, at least we'll get a new appliance now. This isn't looking good. Boy, look at all the uh, landfill space that we've saved now. <laughs> that is very true. Well, hey, guess what? All gears work, and she seems very hey, strong. It was running. All four gears. Mission, oh man. So Somebody didn't get their popsicles out of here. Well, that's the kids? Eat it. Hey, right here, Uncle Scott. Yeah. Well, anyway, can't believe you made that mess, Mason. You want one, Uncle Scott? Well, hopefully that was something a little bit different for you guys. Bud, you're blown away over here. Sorry. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a bunch. Man, look at all the ice in there. Thing was froze up. Maybe that's why it didn't work. So, uh, potential spam. There was there's probably a possible way we could have fixed it, but. That way was so much better. <laughs> We're just trying to boost morale. Is it getting boosted? Look, Uncle Scott's smiling. He ain't grumpy today. Mason, he's even smiling. I'm the lowest of the low. Don't bring us down. 2023. The IT department's like. Oh. You're, you're probably lucky the Manus is there and took the brunt of the hit. Yeah. I'm scared to go look at. Computer. I'm scared to go look at my plasma computer computers. Don't. Can't talk about it I today. won't say anything if they're bad. Not today. Not today. All right, guys. That's a wrap, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, Mason, you still missed a spot out there. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>